Yes, I've... I've shut off all the breakers. Yes, I have checked several times. The power meter is still turning. All I can think is that there's something in the house that isn't wired through the breaker box, and it's drawing power. Well, I, I want you to send someone over to find it and disconnect it. Wednesday. Are you sure there's nothing sooner? Wednesday, then. Hey guys, Kiwi here. In this video, I'll be breaking down and analyzing the significance of Chuck's notebook during the season 3 finale of Better Call Saul, along with a more in-depth analysis of the character Chuck in general. With that being said, huge warning of spoilers for everything in the show up to season 3 episode 10 Lantern, and let's jump right into this. So basically, this entire video will consist around the base idea that Chuck's condition, his sensitivity to electricity, gets better or worse depending on his relationship status with the important people in his life, along with his overall happiness and depression in general. It all started when Rebecca divorced him and has continued ever since. I can only assume that it lingered during the two years that Jimmy supported him as he hated having Jimmy in his life every day and the constant thought of Jimmy's success made him angry. Chuck has been jealous and envious of Jimmy his entire life and he believes that Jimmy does not deserve the success, love, and support in his life that he has. Anyways, after Chuck's mental breakdown during episode 305 chicanery, he's tried incredibly hard to prove to everyone that he's been recovering at light speed, but that's not entirely true. He's constantly shown holding electronic devices or standing near them to prove that he's recovered, but as soon as the person that he's talking to looks away or leaves the room, he still shows symptoms of his condition. Although he is recovering, he's trying to make it seem like he's recovering twice as fast as he really is. So in the finale, Chuck first destroys his 18 year long friendship and partnership with Howard as he practically forced Howard to buy him out of the firm because Howard didn't want to be partners with him anymore. Howard didn't want to threaten the firm's future, so Howard took it upon himself to pay Chuck off personally, which comes off as a shock to Chuck and just hits him harder. And then, the final person that he ever sees is Jimmy, and he does everything within his power to hurt him. The discussion of Chuck's conversation with Jimmy here is an entirely different conversation alone, but needless to say, he definitely ruined any chance of redemption for his brotherly bond with Jimmy. So after ruining both possibilities of redeeming his relationships with Howard and Jimmy, Chuck now has no one left in his life and therefore became more depressed because of it. This causes his condition to come back as he starts feeling the symptoms more and more, and he writes it down in this damn notebook that I've been waiting all video to talk about. Now the book that Chuck has is actually the same book that he showed Dr. Cruz during his meeting with her. He has kept track of when his symptoms happened, how bad they are among other things. If we look at days 27 and 28, his symptoms seem to be on a downward trend, but now on day 29 he's having issues getting to sleep due to his interactions with Howard and Jimmy. The rest of the episode focuses on Chuck pretty much going completely crazy as he tears down his entire house due to being unable to get rid of his symptoms. So because the power meter is still showing that electricity is running to it, Chuck is convinced that electricity is running through his house. But in reality, there isn't anything new about Chuck's house that's causing his symptoms to actually become more of an issue, as his symptoms seem to definitely be in direct relation to his depression and loneliness. While Chuck was knocking over the lantern, all alone in his torn down house, he looked very uncomfortable and unhealthy. He looked about just as bad as when he got tased by those cops busting down his door in an earlier season, so we can only assume that his condition kept worsening and worsening. Chuck, unable to find the source of electricity, gets driven mad by the pain and supposed symptoms that he's feeling, when in reality he's probably just becoming more and more depressed now that he's fully let sink in what he's done with his life. Let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comments section below, as I'm open to any opinions or discussion. I'd appreciate a like on the video if you've enjoyed anything I've said today, or even subscribe for more Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad content in the near future. With all that being said, I thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.